Hi, my name's Ed Matthews from Quorum. Today I'm going to be targeting perch. I'm going to try and catch some perch on the Quorum jig kits and the double hard lures if we can. I'm going to try and give you a few hints and tips along the way and we'll see how we go. I'm just fanning my cast to try and work the area. A nice steady retrieve, keeps the tail of the lure kicking pretty continuously. I'm not trying to work any action into the lure with the rod tip. These um, rubber jigs work quite well enough themselves with that big paddle tail. Just a consistent retrieve and wind of the reel to try and keep that jig at a steady depth. Just gonna let it sink about three seconds. So now I've gone a little bit deeper. Often perch will sit there. There you go. Oh, he's he did come off, but then he's back on again. Yeah, Perch will be looking up in the water. That's all today is about. He's trying to find that depth that the Perch want to feed at. Well, that the Perch are actually sat at. Forward facing eyes and eyes that can look up. They're always looking for stuff that's silhouetted. That's why I try and find the right depth just to get it in that zone in front of them. There's some beautiful vivid colours, oranges. I've just caught quite a few fish on this goldfish rubber jig, um, but the action's dried up a bit, even with me fanning my cast about and um, trying to find the fish. So what I'm going to do is just change the pattern. The size of the jig head is fine. It's fishing really well actually. And I can alter the depth slightly with the way that I um, retrieve. In this pack that Corum sell, we've got two other options. A natural looking roach and a perch pattern as well. The goldfish was the third one in that pack. I think I'm gonna change, because perch are predominantly the uh, major species in this pool, and they breed really successfully. So I'm gonna try a perch pattern and see what that can bring. For those that aren't familiar with um, rigging up a jig head onto your uh, rubber shad, best thing, bit of advice I can give you, just lie them next to each other, work out where the point of the hook is going to come out the back of the fish, which is just about there by that stripe. And then starting at the head, thread it through. You've already worked out roughly where the point should exit the fish, so it'll sit nice on the jig head. And then something like that. Let's go and see if they want this pattern. It's the first one since I've changed the lure. I had quite a few casts, I was just thinking, have I done the right thing changing to this perch pattern? Just hooked in the scissors. So it was worth changing pattern. I might try moving swim and see if I can catch something a bit bigger. I've just arrived in a new swim. I had a straw around the other side of the lake. 
the wind's pushing off my back here. I've seen a few little bits and pieces jumping around, so I'm optimistic, but it's important to stay mobile. And so uh, that's the reason we're in this new swim and we're gonna give it a go. See if we can put a few more perch on the bank. Oh, that fish was very high up in the water. Hit the lure not long after it landed. It's got a leaf stuck on it there. Oh, I've got a leaf on the line. That bit of debris really stopped the lure from working again. Let's try that cast again. I'm going to retrieve the lure as soon as it hits the surface. I was hoping for a hit straight away, but it wasn't to be. Didn't quite get the cast right, if I'm honest. Needed to be another eight foot to the left. As you're aware, we've been out this morning, catching a few perch, and um, I'm just gonna run you through some of the lures I've been using to catch those perch. Um, been using the snapper, Corum snapper jig kits. They come in two different sizes. Um, the smaller size has got five gram jig heads included in the packet. And the larger size has got seven gram jig heads included in the packet. There is slightly different in length. You've got 5.5 centimeter shad and a 7.5 centimeter shad in these ones. Now you've seen today I was using this goldfish pattern and that predominantly did the business to me. I've been on other venues and the roaches worked well, and I caught the odd fish this morning on the perch pattern as well. But um, by far and away, my favorite is actually the goldfish one. Not only have I been using these jig kits, I'm gonna be starting to use the double hard lures as well. Now these are the shallow bug. I spoke to you about how the fish were up in the water. This afternoon, I'm gonna give these a try because they'll fish at um, that three to five foot depth and hopefully they might pick up a better fish if I'm lucky. But if not, it'll be fun just trying something a bit different. Now these come in the fire tiger and the natural roach pattern and these are eight grams in weight. And again, casting out, steady retrieve, down to three to five feet. It should be spot on for where the fish are at the moment. You know, I think I'm going to get quite a bit more action. It's a bit easier to fish. I can fish it a bit slower than the jigs because I haven't got to continually keep my rod tip high and keep winding in to keep it shallow. Whereas these things kind of hold their depth for a lot longer. So I can fish a little bit slower, put it in the zone for a bit, a bit longer and uh, hopefully bag a few more of these. Quite a nice stamp of fish. Not monsters, but good sport. I'm off home now, hope you've enjoyed it, come and see us again soon.